Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to vlog and I want to show you everything that I'm going to do today. So far I have planned. I have to drive to Southfield and get a dress for a birthday party I was invited to. Oh, see there goes my nature alarms. I was telling you guys about my mindfulness vlog. I was invited to a 40th birthday party and it's a prom theme party. So I had to get a prom dress and I'm going to go there today make sure I like the dress, get a fitting, and then I have to pick it up on Friday once the fittings and the alterations are done. And then after I get my dress, I want to go to get a manicure and pedicure. I'm thinking I'm just going to let them go ahead and do my nails today. Fingers crossed that it's actually good quality work because you know I'm so picky now, especially I was always picky before I did my own nails, but now I'm very particular with how I want my nails. I need them to be precise and look perfect. And my toes, I'm debating if I want them to do my toes. For sure, my fingers. Then I have to go grocery shopping. I would like to go to Trader Joe's today or Horrocks. Not sure which one. I believe that'll be it. Dress shopping, pedicure, manicure, and grocery store. If not, I'll keep you tuned. And next, I'm going to go let Bruce out. I just got out the shower. Whoa, look how foggy it is out here, Bruce. Bruce, you So I'm inside. What do you see in this in here? Light, ceiling, headlights, flowers, cute pink curtains, and all the pretty, pretty dresses. And she in there. And they got ready for us too. And here's the altar in here. Got some pastels in So here are the gowns they pulled for me. I said red and silver. So here's one. And here's another. mixed up with sheep most to me sometimes. So I already know I'm not gonna like this. This yeah. oh, my mom showed me this because I asked my mom. Hey mom, shout out to you to come and check out the dresses before I came. Oh. See how you wanted me. I did two hours and four minutes and uh, this one's decent. I think this might be the best one. Let's see. Another one with this material. Let me look at the tag and see if I can find what this material is called. Oh, yes, there. It doesn't tell me what the term I can't think of a term, though. Looks like that when I need to know it. I'll try it on, I guess. I'll try it on. There's another sliver. But again, with this fabric. No. No, 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 I don't want that. That's too much going on for me. Because it's, ooh, it's a little damaged. So they can give me a markdown. It's a little damaged. 
I'm going to have to put it somewhere right up. There's another one. We'll try these three on. These three dresses, so I'll give it a go. You need to make an appointment for the following fitting, alterations, pickups, color swatch, to look at, try on the dress you bought. Oh, okay. Well, I guess my pleasure was 11. Hey guys, so here's the first dress. I put it on and it's huge on me. Um, it's a size 16, so that probably explains why. I'm going to go look in the mirror and see how I look. Enough red for the occasion? Yes, it didn't have to be red, it's just the guy my date preferred me to get a red dress. Yeah. Thank you. This is dress number two. This one fits a little better already. I need to take I need them to take these cushions out because that don't look right. Look like the Austin Powers when he had those robots that were shooting bullets out there, dude. Okay. Here's dress number three. It actually fits me, and it turns out it's a four. I'm a size four. No way. This dress is by Unique Lady Collection. Okay, here's what dress three looks like. I'm lighting. Again, I need those cuffs taken out. This looks cute. I like it. I think I need it more. Yeah, the cute thing is This dress is ugly. <laughs> it looks like a quinceanera dress or like a high school prom, not like a grown up prom. You ready? Yes, thank you. Yeah, I don't really, I don't like this one very much. Mm -mm. That's okay. Let's try something different. Okay. All right, so I have to decide between this red dress, this new red dress, and that silver dress. So I'm gonna call my date and ask him which one he likes more, and then I'll call my mom and ask her. And then that should help me. Okay, y'all. So, I hope my mic wasn't off this whole time. If it was, I'm going to start crying. <laughs> if it was, I'd really going to cry because I missed so much content. Anyways, I'm in the bathroom. I had to pee. So now I'm going to get alterations done for this dress because this is the one I'm going to choose out of the that I tried on. Here's the I'm choosing. Yes. Go ahead and step up there for me. Okay. Yeah, I think that's perfect right there. Are you coming? Yeah, problems are over. Okay. Only problem you have is I might not be in Michigan. Oh, I don't know about Whoa! <laughs> hey, are you the DJ again? Nah. This I is know. not my doing. That's and it's this Friday, correct? Yes. What is today? The 8th? <laughs> so, it's June 11th. <laughs> okay. Hi guys, so I'm at Target and I'm going to show you this new product I've been using my Bird's Bees. It are, they are facial towelettes and they are remove makeup, cleanse, and hydrate. I tried a different scent. This one is coconut and lotus water, so I'm excited. I like theirs because it's not as harsh as the Neutrogena makeup removers. And then the Garnier, this is like a classic 
makeup remover. Usually people get this one. I think this was their original. For some reason though, every time I buy this, it just disappears. I bought like two of them the last year and I can't find them. Oh, so what's next? In Target, yay. And I need more mascara because I could tell in my last vlog that it was running low. I always go with the wand that has a triangular edge. Here, yep, this is perfect. It helps me get my bottom lashes perfectly and I get the shade black is black. And that's all the beauty stuff I'm gonna get today. Two different types of makeup cleansers, makeup removers, mascara and eyeliner. I have to get some pajamas to wear because my date for the dance bought me a room because I put an all night I've been working on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube content that I literally did not sleep last night. I stayed up and then I had to drive at 8 a.m. to get to Southfield. So I'm kind of getting tired and it's raining. Of course, my dad is like, it's not that late. So he would like for me to come home, but I think it's in my best interest if I stayed here for the night. Why not get my own hotel room to myself by the river walk so I can have a view of the water and stay in a nice room? Um, sure, taking that offer, relax and enjoy myself. So I need to get some pajamas for the night. These look a little too old lady for me. Love Detroit, it's so pretty down here. Wait. Better than the country, you guys know. I think that every time I go to a city, I just feel so much happier and at peace with my life. There it is. Where is for this room my date it was kind enough to offer me to get a room tonight so I won't have to drive two and a half hours back to my city so he said I can stay in Detroit for the night and now I can go to my cousin Deontay's boutique tomorrow because I will be in town still view of the city is awesome can't beat that Disinfectant wipes and wipe this puppy down because you know how I do. Let's check out the bathroom. Wow, this is a large bathroom. You can tell that this is an older hotel from this wall. Now, once I went on a date with a guy and he set up our hotel room, which was so lovely. It was such a nice and welcoming and loving thing to walk into. He had 
so many different snacks, healthy, unhealthy, candy, and then he loaded the refrigerator with everything he thought I would like. So I did the same for my date for the dance since he's gonna stop by. Why not? That's you can't beat that feeling when you walk in and it's like you were expected and welcomed. Oh, and of course the guy he put a bouquet of flowers on the bed and put a whole bunch of candy around it. It was still one of the nicest gestures a guy has ever done for me to this day. But things are looking up for me. So let's keep striving for better and better because each guy I date has been better than the last guy. And that's on period. <laughs>